is what we call hater shit. shit. There is no better term. into my civil rights and activist personality. So let's just get a little makeup on my face and whatnot. And then um, we can take it from there. So as I said before, Bobo Solo Coco is to escape the fucking travesties playing out around me they're boring, and um, create whatever kind of life I want, and no one can stop me, so here we are, go for solo, I'm, hello gorgeous, hello, um, I'm doing a makeup tutorial, is everyone here, let's just wait until we get a little more, um, a little, a little more people in the audience, okay, oh hey, so, anyways, we're at Northbridge Mall. Um, I've done a couple lives today, some serious ones, so I just want to lighten the mood with a little makeup tutorial. Um, I'm using an Anastasia palette called Rivera, I believe. Rivera. Riviera. Um, yeah, Riviera. It's this one. I got it like two years ago. It's not new. Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly, uh, Beverly Hills. And then I also have a Winky Lux Hello Gorgeous palette. Um, and I'm using this one and also the orange. So, Winky Lux and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I've already put my face on and so we're going right into the eye look. Um, I started the eye look with this super large brush um, and I just did like a, a layer of translucent powder first. I found that if you put a little tiny layer of translucent powder on before the color, um, blending is a lot easier. So from the translucent, we go in with the shade Estate um, by Anastasia. Um, so Estate all over the lid, mostly in the crease, but just everywhere. And then after Estate, I did Coastline um, on the actual lid. Um, then I went in with the Winky Lux palette in the color Coconut Bra right here my crease color to add a little definition. Um, I didn't use this brush, I used this brush, which is a number um, base shadow 14. Um, and you can see it's kind of like angled a little bit, so it makes for blending in the crease really easy. I haven't blended it out completely, but I'm going to finish blending that now. Um, like I said before, the translucent powder and putting down the lid color first um, help blend easier. I've done it without putting the translucent powder on when I'm out of translucent powder and that's when I notice that it's like so difficult to blend the colors together and you just have a lot of really harsh lines. That doesn't stop me from wearing it with as much confidence, but I mean, um, if you're really looking for that perfected, flawless look, you want to blend, 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 blend in the crease, and you want to lay down a coat of translucent um, before putting the color down. It just blends a lot easier, and it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing um, when you do so. So we blend it in, coconut bra. Um, I'm also going to grab this palette by Too Faced called Let's Play. I love the shade... I can't even see the name. It's like an orange shade. It's called, I, I think it's called, um, I think it's called One Up. And it's like, sorry, my, my makeup is shattered because like I'm always on the go and I need new makeup, but it's this like peachy orange shade. So after I've already done all of that with the Anastasia, I like to, and then I do the crease, I like to use that orangish shade. Sometimes if it's not bright and pigmented enough, I go in with the Fruit Punch um, which is an orange, and I also mix it with the guava for white people, uh, for Hispanics, guayaba. Um, either way, I like to put the bright with the browns, and then to tie it all together, after I lay down the bright orange and then this more of a muted tone of orange, 
I use this gold back from the Anastasia. It's called Inheritance. Um, so let's just do that, and then I'll show you the completed look. Right now I'm doing the fruit punch on top of the coconut bra. And these are both weak from the Winky Lux palette. Hello, gorgeous. So I'm not too perfect with the orange. I just want to lay it in there um, because then I'm going to be a little more detailed um, and I'm going to use a smaller, more compact brush to put the um, one up on top. And when I'm using one up, I use it like really imperfectly um, with this compact brush. It's like the bristles are more stuck together. Um, and I just go like literally like a, like I'm stamping the um, lid line. And what this does is it gives a little tiny bit of fallout, natural looking fallout on my lower lid so that when I line with the brown or the um, black usually, um, it kind of blends with the lighter color for an under, an under eye liner um, effect as well. So that's what we're doing now with the color, with the shade One Up by Too Faced. Fantastic. And I'm going to put that away. So I laid down on top of Coconut Bra a little bit of Fruit Punch from Wiki Lux, um, a little bit of One Up by Too Faced Let's Play palette. And then I'm going to go back to this brush and blend it all out again. And then the final stage is going to be adding the gold. So we're pretty much almost done. Oh, well, the, for the shadow anyways. Then we have to do the liner and the mascara. You guys know my favorite mascara is Too Faced Better Than Sex. But my second favorite mascara and a much more cost-effective option, coming in at only 4 or $6 per tube, um, is the Essence. Um, let me see. I think it's called Princess. Essence. Lash um, green and black bottle for waterproof, but this is how it looks four to six dollars. It lasts forever, it's at least equivalent to Better Than Sex. The only difference with Better Than Sex is that I like the way the brush bristles feel when it's going through my eyelashes, um, but the effect and the way it looks is pretty much the same. So we're blending this out. Blend, 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 blend. I'm going to start with, I am going to use a black eyeliner. I'm using a Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid. And this is the tip. So I like to just, with my eye open, go underneath by the root of the lash just really lightly get the waterline underneath the lashes. Do you see? It's subtle, but it makes a lot of difference. the same thing on the lower lid so I don't want to do it really harsh with the black 
Um, and just to kind of blend that in, I'm going to go back in with coconut bra and do one more layer of liner. And this time I'm going to do it on the closed eye. Um, just add, again, the, the lid line, the line from my eyelashes. When my eye is closed, I can expect a little bit to get on the underneath, and that's the perfect amount. So, two birds, one stone. Here we go. Practice. Slash for Lastly, if there's anything missing, I like to just saturate the brush and just blink my eye and do the underneath of the lid line of the um, lash line rather as well. Alright, so that's cool. Great, and then I'm going to get this big one that still has coastline and just blend down because I think I went up too far with the coconut bra. Cool. Um, and then the last thing is just going to be mascara. Oh, I forgot the gold. I love doing gold. <laughs> I love doing gold. Okay, so gold. of the eye you see right here in the inner corner and I like to put a lot there and then when I blend for my final blend before putting on the um, mascara the gold kind of like sweeps across from the inner corner to this upper part and just leaves it like a little bit shiny and gorgeous oh so pretty Okay. Very good. Is it very, very good? Xavier? Is yeah. it very good? Uh huh. Okay, very good. So, yeah. That's what we have going on there. We, we are in the market for an independent showroom for our design firm. Or whatever. Okay, and then the mascara. Mascara. a while ago and I needed to revive it. It usually is much better than this, but what I did was I just put one little drop of Olay. So, where's my Olay? Have you seen my Olay? I have not seen it. I'm sorry. Where is it? It was just right here. So I just put one drop of like the regular Olay on the mascara wand, on the mascara wand, um, when it needs to be revived and I like can't get to buy a new tube. And that gives you like another like five to 10 applications easily. We're not always next to Sephora or Ulta. I mean, I usually am. I usually am, not going to lie. 
bright colors. It's so hard to see with my phone is laying on its side, so the camera's like off to the left, so I'm like trying to. I'm an expert at panning. Would you not want me to touch it? See, you're an expert at panning, you guys. Tell me when you want me to pan it. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is just take my beauty blender and just make sure that the fall up, the fall out is going up. So I just, I just work with the fall out. I'm like, oh, you fell out for sure. That's going to be part of the look. And then just blend that shit up. Boom. Um, and then that's it. So that's good for the eyes. I think there's probably a little bit too much in this corner. I can't even tell because the lighting in here is not really that good. I still need mascara on the under eye. And like a little bit of color on the lip. For my lip, I use this lip application brush, and usually I mix chapstick. Like, I love um, either a Burt's Bees, my favorite is the pear apple, the white cap, or um, like a regular chapstick brand, cherry chapstick. Um, I mix a little bit of that with any color from any of my eyeshadow palettes and create a lip gloss. Or I'm using also this shade. Um, I don't even know what brand or shade it is. It's like so dirty from being in my bag um, with all the other makeups. And I just like, it's a pencil crayon, whatever. NARS? No, it's not NARS. Um, and then I just... Overdraw. My lip line, mostly because I usually get Juvederm at least once a year. I haven't had it in two years. I haven't had Juvederm in two years, and I haven't had Botox in a year um, at all. And then just to make sure that nothing is in the corners, um, I just flip my brush upside down. After I'm done doing this, I just go. And that's it. And then I might throw on another layer of Mario Badescu because I'm out of setting spray. So just to like freshen it up and moisturize and make sure that since I'm like getting into that age where it's questionable to use powders, I'm just always trying to keep it. And it's also very cold in Chicago and windy, so always moisturizing. This is the Mario Badescu um, Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. It's my favorite. It's been like 10 bucks or 5 bucks at Macy's, Sephora, Alta. Everyone has it. Um, and literally just any time that your makeup or face needs a refresher, just even when Xavier needs, like, a refresher. Do you want some? 
Is that from Trader Joe's? Lean forward. No. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and lastly is this. Tree Hut Sugar Lips on top of the color. Mm. Tea Tree Oil is too gnarly for some. And that's it. Oh, and if I really want to go ham, bon salut, and add a little color on my face, I'll add a little bronzer and highlight, so I'm using the, um, I forgot the brand, it's called something butter, bronzing butter or something, Physician's Formula, it's that super smooth, it's like supposedly powder, but in actuality it feels like a combination of powder and moisture. And I just put that, I just use it to contour. Like I would use a regular contour color like with more pigment and also more shaded tones. Like the Kat Von D palette is what I typically use. Um, if I was gonna go all out with the makeup look, but if it's just like everyday makeup, I, I just contour with bronzer. And I do it around the hairline. On the cheekbone. And the jawline. And then on the neck, two lines. One right here on the outside of the left side. And one right here on the outside of the right side. Um, and then if we're going in for a next step, it's I use hourglass highlighting. Um, kit. It usually comes with like a super light one, a medium shade, and then um, a darker tone. I used up all the lightest one. I used, That's the one that I go to for my under eye to like wake up my under eye. But otherwise I'm using the medium tone just as an all over highlight that's concentrated to my cheeks and cheekbones with a little bit on my forehead. And then whatever's left on the brush for this area. And then just an all over once over to blend everything up really nicely. And we're good. Okay, bye guys. I love you so much. I have no idea what we're going to do now. Um, I'll check back later.